Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing an idea which one of you guys has suggested and I saw a lot of people um, like the idea of this as well and that is what if two replicas of the solar system collided? This was uh, submitted by the user Galactic Planet Guy in Discord so a massive thank you to them for this idea and honestly I'm surprised we've never actually tried this but without further ado we're going to hop straight into it so a solar system versus solar system. What could possibly go wrong? So let's go ahead and uh, new simulation. Go nice and easy. I'll go into here. Uh, sun. Right. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to place a sun. Slap bang there. So that should have all of the orbits. Perfect. Okay. So that's the whole solar system plus Pluto as well. And then what we need to simply do is place a second one. We're going to place it there. So the orbits are about to merge. So we're going to place there. Okay. So what we need to do now is delete the orbits of all these moons because we do not want these moons holding up our simulation speed, basically. So, yeah, we don't we don't want any of that. So, okay, so what we need to do is simply delete all of them. We need to keep Pluto. I want to keep Pluto in here. So we need to uh, delete everything up to Pluto like that. Get rid of all of those. So we don't need this Titania. Don't need the other Titania. And then we've got the Galilean moons here. So, for instance, this Tri oh, the Triton as well. So that, that needs to go. Oh, that's, uh, that's annoying. Right, uh, so hop back on here. I can't have the camera locked on anything when I delete it, otherwise it all uh, goes a bit nuts. So there we are. So Ganymede, we do not need you. Don't need you. Don't need Titans. Callisto, Callisto, Io. Uh, we, yeah, we don't need the Moon either. Europa. Okay. So and that's a Triton as well. So Triton, Europa, Europa. Okay, so we've got Pluto, Pluto, Mercury's, Mars, Venus, Earth. And then the gas giants. Cool. So that's all of the moons deleted. So this simulation should run fairly smoothly now. So what we'll do is as well, we'll throw a save in just so it was all working. So we'll just call it SS versus SS. So solar system, solar system. Save. Right. Play. So you can already see it. Pluto's already been grabbed by the other sun. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Play. So what happens... So you can see the inner solar systems will probably be the safest place in here. But if we just look at the Earth, for instance, the other sun isn't lighting up yet because the other sun is beyond the orbit of Pluto. But you can still see it is over there and it is nearby. You can see the other replicas of... Oh, what's happened there? <laughs> That's a bit weird. But you can see the other replicas of the solar system objects in there. So I think what we'll do as well is, so we know which system each object is from, what we'll do is we'll simply just enhance the colour of the trails. We'll just amplify them all so we know which one is from where so mercury i guess you're red now venus you go up to the yellow mars again you're going up to that so we know where each one is from because if we uh have them all as the same color then we'll get mixed up from who is from where but if they're all yeah if they're all um if these ones are colored for instance then we'll know that they're from the original one so there we are and then pluto as well put you straight up so there we go they're all enhanced colors now and i'll see we'll do the sun as well just so we know, interface, you're orange. Right, cool. So we have the original system, and then we have the duplicate system. So, play. Oh, it already is playing. Okay, cool. So speed up time. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, and it would be helpful if I actually press play. Yeah, that, that would help. There you go. Right. Put trails on as well. So we should start to see the sun spiral towards the other sun, possibly. So let's see how this plays. Oh, they are going to get closer. <laughs> oh, wowee. Okay. This is going to be insane. They are, pull they are pulling towards each other. If we look here, you can see they're starting to merge. The orbits of Neptune, they are merging. So we can see out the original Neptune has been stolen by the second sun already. And it looks like it's going on a high-speed course into the inner solar system of the duplicate system. Oh, dear me. Oh, that's going to cause problems. You have a Neptune flying through the orbit of Mars. I think that's going to cause some serious consequences. I mean, oh, man. So let's look at the Jupiter Earth's perspective of this Neptune coming in hot here. I think you can you can actually see it. Just so you can actually see the object just over there because it's that close. <laughs> Play. So there it is. So, so whereabouts is it? So it's not past the orbit of jupiter yet so it okay so let's see how it enters so it's on a collision course with that mars orbit so let's see how this plays out so you can see it's getting very very close it looks like it may have a close flyby of the earth here actually so earth neptune very very close together indeed uh can you see yeah you can see it all right there it is slow down time 
plate. You can see the Neptune slowly travel past, and you can just see it. It's chilling. It's just there in the inner solar system, flying by the Earth. So there it goes, speeding by in the other direction. So I wonder if it's going to swap stars again. So there it is. So it's still pretty... Uh, it looks like it's pretty far, but I don't think it is. So if we look here, it's inside the orbit of Mars. And it's probably... It's, we paused it at its closest point, really. I mean, that is very, very close. Uh, how, how hot is this Neptune? Has it warmed up a bit? Oh, it is warming up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised. So there it is. But it's going to speed out again and get cold again. So let's see whereabouts it goes now. It's going to have a close interaction with that Jupiter, maybe. Oh. So it looks like it's going to swap stars again because it's going to go inside the orbit of the Uranus, the original Uranus. So this should be interesting. So that's going to swap stars, surely. So as it passes the orbit of Uranus, it should have a star transfer any second now. Come on, you're going to have a star transfer? That should easily... Yeah, there has a star transfer and that could actually eject it. As we can see, that may have launched it out of the system, having that second star interacting at the same time. It looks like Uranus, the duplicate Uranus, is also on a collision course with the star. Or with the sun, I should say. Let's see here. So is this actually going to collide? Okay, here it is. So duplicate Uranus, not looking good whatsoever for this one. So it is approaching the sun slowly but surely. Not good. <laughs> oh dear. So you can see there it is. All right. Okay, so let's speed up. So, oh, that is going to be... It's going to be a very, very close flyby by the looks of it, but that could just eject it out the simulation completely here. You can see it's still receiving light from the second sun, so both stars are within light radius from each other now. So, yep, yeah, it's receiving light from two stars. So let's see how that affects the, the Earths in this simulation with two suns. So you can see Uranus increasing violently, violently, very hot here as it flybys the sun. It is losing material. We can see it's getting very, very hot indeed. Slow down time. Let's get it. Watch it as it plays out. So it is losing a bit of material, being so close to the sun that, as you can see, very, very hot stuff there. And it's going to fly past the sun, and now it is leaving again. So it actually was the hottest planet in the system for the time being, but there we are. So that's probably going to get... Is it going to have an interaction with Mercury? I think it may have. Did it do anything? Did it knock it off course? I mean, that seemed dangerously close. To having a problem there. It looks like it may, Mercury may have gotten away with that. That's very surprising. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Right. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the Neptune. Is the Neptune hanging on? Oh, it is. So the original Neptune is hanging on. Where's the duplicate Neptune gone? What's... Where is the duplicate Neptune? Where, whereabouts is it? Uh, This one. So there's... No, that's the original Neptune. Where's it? So this is the duplicate. Okay. So the duplicate is the one being ejected now. Okay. So as we can see so far, Neptune has been the planet with the most changes. Not looking good at all. You can see Uranus as well has had a lot of problems. Uh, inner solar system wise though, if we go to the Earths here. So how's this Earth doing? Okay, Earth seems to still be fairly in good shape. It just has a second star. Yeah, I'm giving it a bit of light, so that'll be the same for both Earths. I mean, both Earths should be in exactly the same sort of temperatures, really. I mean, there shouldn't be any difference. 10-6 and 10-6, yeah, they're perfectly identical. So... That's cool. Okay, uh, let's uh, continue to uh, run simulation speeds. I want to know if the suns are going to get involved with any action because that could be um, some serious trouble if the suns do have an interaction. But it looks like the suns may actually just be in a binary now. Maybe, maybe they'll be in a binary. I mean, orbits. Let's keep an eye on the sun orbits so you can see the... Yeah, you can see their trails are looping around each other. So maybe we set up a binary orbit in a way then. Interesting. Okay. So we can see that Uranus is still in a very, very uh, weird orbit, the comet-like orbit. You can see the Neptunes are still having planet, uh, star transfers. It looks like uh, the original one's about to swap stars once more as its orbit expands out. Yep, there it is. Looks like there's also a Pluto orbit out here having some changes. But it looks like the suns have set up quite a nice binary system, actually. So that doesn't really count as colliding. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to launch. In our next experiment, we're going to need to launch the systems into each other. Because then that will be maximum sort of damage. So, that should be interesting stuff. Right, okay. Yeah, I think they've set up a perfect binary. So, the gas giants are all over the place. But the inner solar systems are perfectly fine. Um, as far as as far as I can see. Yeah, because yeah, all the gas giants are broken apart because of the star distances. But, yeah, the inner solar system seem... Yeah, the, the inner solar system is fine. I mean, I think after running the simulation for a lot of time, I think a gas giant would probably eventually upset the inner solar system a bit. But... 
other than that, I mean, yeah, the inner solar system seems to function perfectly fine with two suns in the nearby proximity. As you can see, they are just having nice sort of... Yeah, there's, there's a better sort of look at it. So you can see both stars are just attracting towards each other and they're launching around each other. So there you are. Another little launch around. There you go. So they set up a nice little binary. And then you got all of the gas giants just sort of hovering around at the back, waiting to grab onto a star again. But there you are. Okay, so I think that ends our first experiment. So I think after some time, you can see this Saturn here. It is going into the inner solar system, as we can see. So if it successfully makes it in there, like it is now, this could actually upset the inner solar system a bit. So I think after a long period of time, the inner solar system would be destroyed. But for the time being, it is hanging on. So there you go. So there's experiment number one. So the, the stars just went into a binary together. But let's try this. Let's try it again. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to launch. So we're going to go to sun, planets, Actually, um, yeah, sun and planets. So up here. So there's all the orbits. So we've got all the moons again. That's really annoying it does that. Um, and then sun. Then we're going to launch sun into sun. Try and do it fairly close. But there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. As soon as I press play. Oh, it already is playing. Okay. How fast is this even going to run? I mean... I'm assuming not very fast. Yeah, we need to delete the moons again. So let's go ahead and do that. So radius all the way down here. Okay. So where is the Pluto? Pluto is there. Okay. So we need to delete all of this. All of that needs to go. So there it is. Delete. Perfect. Okay, so we have a Titania as well. That's got to go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It's annoying the camera locked onto it. Right. Cool. Right. So back here. Okay, so we need to obviously delete Titan and the Galilean moons. So let's go ahead and just delete those. Oh, I just deleted a Mercury. No. Okay, I think we should be able we should we can spawn a Mercury back in. I mean it's not a big, big loss, so there we are. And then there's the Plutos. Okay, so where's the missing Mercury? We need to respawn it. I mean the orbit won't be perfect, but I mean it'll be close enough, so. Okay, it was around this one, okay. Mercury, da 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 da. I'm gonna just place you there, there. There we go. That's uh, ah, you can't tell the difference. <laughs> right. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll have this as the original system. So we'll have the sun. We'll just do the colors again, just so we know who's who. So we'll just make it a little easier to spot which planet is which. So interface Mercury will go red again. Venus, we'll have you uh, brightened up to that. Uh, Earth, I'll see your blue. Mars. Okay, so Mars, for instance, we're going to go more reddish this time. We'll just have it like that. So then we know that's Mars. Jupiter. Again, we'll go orange this time. So we can actually tell. Saturn. Because I couldn't tell between Jupiter and Saturn in the last simulation. So it'll be easier this time. And then Uranus. I mean, yeah, Uranus and Neptune are fine. We know which ones those are. Uranus, Neptune. And then Pluto will have as purple. Um, like so. There we go. Okay, so now you can tell original system and duplicate system. So slow down time. Suns are on a direct collision course here. Let's see what sort of chaos unfolds. Play. Okay. Now we're in action. So we'll save it as well. We'll just call it SSSS. We'll just replace the other one. There we go. Cool. Right. Now, will they collide or will they make a binary again? Let's see. Oh, my. God. Oh, yeah. You can see that orbits are being bent out of shape already as two suns get... Ver I mean, if the sun enters the inner solar system... Well, for, if the inner solar systems collide, we're going to see some crazy stuff. And you can see they are on a... <laughs> oh, god damn. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, slow down time. So you can see the inner solar system. I think Earth, for instance, we're going to see some trouble here. Because a second sun is about to fall on our heads, basically. Yeah. So there it is. Going to warm up a bit on the North Pole, I think. But there you are. Okay, let's just zoom out. We need a little more. Right. Trails. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. They're all swirling around towards each other. Oh, this is insane. So as soon as those get close enough, they are going to rip inner planet orbits apart. I mean, the gas giants are just going to be all over the shop now. But here we are. Okay, so now you can see the inner solar system has been torn up by both stars getting stupidly close here. I mean, that is... That's insane. Are they? Are the suns going to collide? That's what I really hope we see, because that is a proper solar system collision if they do collide. Come on, suns. Do it. Oh, man, they are so close. 
So just looking at Earth, double suns. That's gonna. The temperature is actually sitting all right at the moment because the Earth is still about one AU away from the stars. So there we are. Oh my, <laughs> oh geez. I think that's. Uh, I think fate is sealed here. Let's slow down. Right. So let's just look at the system as a whole as well. So that's all. That's that's the orbits right now. If we go on trails, you get that. I think trails is probably the better one to look onto. But you got two suns directly in competition for the dominance but i think we know what's going to happen here i think we're going to get in a mass overload they are yep they're not getting out of that that's too late to turn they are going into each other oh my god sun versus sun about to collide here we go and they've connected they've connected oh and it's gone so if two suns collide, so in theory, if two solar systems collide, because remember the sun is the center, so if the both of the centers collide, that's what you get. And look at all the orbits swirling around. They actually look really, really cool the way. It looks like a DNA sort of thing with all the um, all of the swirly things. That does look cool. Looks like a strain of DNA. But there you are. So, also in a solar system, I don't think they're going to last very long. So, there you go. In a, yeah, the Earth, the Earth's gone. Yeah. So I think we should see the gas giant survive normally. Probably Jupiter and Saturn's. Pluto, I don't think so. Probably not. Yes, yeah, losing mass. But there you are. So that is basically what happens if you collide two solar systems. You just get a nova from the overload of mass with two suns colliding. Big, big explosion. Is Jupiter going to survive? I don't think it is. I think it's gone. Surely. Oh. Whole solar system disintegrated with double power. Double supernova. Oh, man. Because it looks like there is two in there. I can see sort of two different colours. you got the pink and blue one. Then you got, like, the green and orange coloured Nova. So it looks like it generated two supernovas in there. Yeah, there's... Oh, man. Oh. So there you go. Solar system versus solar system. We will repeat the collision before we finish up. So if I just search SS. Uh, where, where? SS, SS. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so let's try, let's try that again. But I think we're going to get the same results. They are on a perfect collision course. So here we are. So that's as the system plays out. We're in trail mode here. So here you go. You can see, see the DNA strain sort of evolve up. But there you go. Oh, and they ejected each other this time. It looks like we... um Probably because we were running the simulation too fast. But maybe maybe that is a possibility. Maybe they get too close, but they don't actually collide. And that would obviously rip the system to shreds as well. I mean, no more sun means no more system. So there you go. So that's all gone. Let's try that again. So let's just run it a little slower this time. Because I'm guessing that would probably prompt the Nova. Because also if you run it too quick, you won't you won't see it. So here you are. But you can see the system slowly bend out of shape. That That is actually really, really cool how it does that. I mean, look at that. That's cool. Okay, so slow it all down. Both sands are perfectly on uh, collision paths here. So here you go. I love how the inner planets just orbit around like that. That's so cool. They're like mirrored. And there you go. Yeah. So, kaboom. So, yeah. When you run the simulation too fast, you also get less accurate results. So, I think at nine times out of ten, if we run it at a proper pace, it will just Nova. So, there you go, guys. That is the result. If you collide the solar system with the solar system. So, there you are. I really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. And, yeah, a massive thank you to the guy who uh, submitted this idea. Galactic Planet, the guy in Discord. And yeah, guys, if you have any more suggestions, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, or you can uh, post it in the comments. But yeah, let me know if any ideas for what-if videos that you have. Um, that was quite an interesting one, I have to say, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. But with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.